Hello, inspired thinker. I hope this video finds you with some hope in your heart and some spring in your step. I know here in Victoria, which it's always dangerous to talk about the weather, uh, but we are experiencing uh, lots of signs of spring and growth. And that is definitely keeping me inspired these days. And here's what I wanted to share. I've just been sitting here quietly thinking, what am I meant to share with my community today? And so a couple of things. Uh, I've just come off of a stretch of um, the last nine days. I think I've been facilitating learning online for different groups, uh, actually all across the country, which I'm super grateful for. Some were some very early mornings so that I could um, support the government of Nova Scotia with their virtual leadership learning. Yesterday, I was with another group through Royal Roads talking about virtual leadership. So lots of learning. And what I'm really taking away from that experience is really acknowledging the thing you already know, which is that virtual leadership, it's like a full contact sport. And it is asking us to, to be more organized, to be more prepared, to be more thoughtful about how do we engage people in these online settings? How do we facilitate conversations? How do we um, activate people's thinking? And how do we create connection? So those are the themes of the blog this week. Um, so have a peek at the blog. Um, I'm, the intention is to just raise your awareness to why you might be feeling so tired and exhausted because virtual leadership does ask us to show up differently. And it may have, like it has for me, um, asked you to pull on some strengths that aren't your natural go-to strengths. Um, I know I have had to work hard to be um, in, in the strengths finder world or Clifton strengths now. Deliberative is like in my bottom five strengths. And ideation and um, maximizer and strategic are in my top. So being deliberative and intentional and structured with any facilitation that I do, uh, I know it's important and it's, it's needed for me and it's needed for the learners. And it takes a lot of energy for me to put that together because it's not a natural way of being or thinking and it doesn't get me super excited. And yet I know I need to do it. So that's draining. That's draining to have to pull up a strength that isn't easily accessible to me. And yet I can do it and I know it's important. So I, I pull that strength up and I try to do that at times when I have more energy in the day. I try not to leave it to the last minute, although sometimes I do because I can be pressure prom prompted for sure. Um, and it's just acknowledging, yes, this is different, it can feel more challenging, this virtual way of connecting and leading and leading learning. And we can do it. Um, we can all do it. And when you're tired, I want you to really um, be, be gentle with yourself, take the rest that you need, the recovery time that you need. And my new thing is, I don't need to meet with everybody on Zoom, a phone call will do the job in a lot of conversations. So going old school with a phone call could be a way to give you a break from all of this screen stuff. So I'll leave you with those as my, um, maybe my learning nuggets or reminders for today. And the piece I, I wanna share with you that I am super excited about and all of my um, thinking and percolating for the last, I'll say, 10 years. I'm coming up to my 10-year anniversary of Inspired Results Group, of leaving um, you know, a corporate job to strike out on my own. So in June of 2021, it'll be 10 years since I uh, left structured employment and, and stepped into this brave arena of entrepreneurship and and coaching and leadership development and so for I feel like for 10 years I've been cooking up my own version of inspired leadership and the curriculum I wanted to create around that and it is finally unfolding and uh, I'm getting really really clear on what I want that to look like and how I want to change the landscape of leadership through this 
program that I'm creating. And I am looking for, my ideal would be 16 to 20 um, people to join me in a pilot of that program. I'm uh, soon going to have a page with more information for you to check that out and see if, if it's something you want to join me in to experience the content, um, to give me some feedback about the learning experience. And it won't be priced at its full value yet because I'm testing the content and, and um, yeah, looking forward to that. So uh, stay tuned. If you would like to get on the wait list um, to be um, part of that pilot, then there's a link below in the newsletter here. Just drop your name onto the wait list. It also just gives me an idea of, of appetite and interest. It will, the program will unfold over uh, May and June. And uh, my, my bias, my tendency is to over deliver on content and on the, the learning experience. So it will be action packed, content rich. And I have a feeling that some really amazing people are going to sign up for this pilot. So I hope that's you and uh, stay tuned for more details. All right, everyone have a great rest of your week. Stay hopeful, change is coming. We don't know what that looks like yet. And I look forward to being on that journey with you. So take care, stay brave.